Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the first ever Fabio Viviani Hospitality virtual event for industry. Who is the industry? Well, the industry is you guys. The industry is everyone that because of COVID and the last crazy 14 months has to see their business of entertaining taken away from them one way or the other one. So what we have done here, we have created the most successful, better organized and one-stop shop virtual corporate event company. Now, when I say one-stop shop, I wanna, I wanna break down a little bit for you what you're gonna see through this demo and, and how we go about in the business of uh, uh, pulling off event for you guys, for our customer, guest, and friend. So a virtual event is basically, as you probably are aware, a gathering of people from different states or different city or the same city or the same group of company or different group of company that gathers together in lieu of the inability of doing it in person. So now when you get together with somebody in person, of course, it's entertaining. But we made the virtual experience as, inter as entertaining, if not more, than the in-person one. First of all, when I say one-stop shop, a Fabio Viviani Hospitality, we are creating the 360 degrees um, uh, completion of the event. We have the technology. We have the cameras, we have the studio to produce. We're not streaming out of a, a little webcam like some of my colleagues are doing, which hey, understanding, but I also do a lot of, uh, lot of television production, so I have a full-on HD studio in my house. We have uh, a, a branding agency, so we can customize things for you like uh, aprons, uh, cookware, uh, tableware with your brand, giftware. We can do the meal kit, which we will get into it in a few minutes, as well as taking care of the streaming platform. Our partner, my partners are a my key live uh, um, are providing a, a phenomenal platform. The platform that you guys are viewing the demonstration right now was born in the digital era for virtual event and uh, entertainment in mind of, with the mind about quality and with the mind about the ability to scale a, a good streaming with better definition than most of the platform out there. We all use the, the Zoom, the Ring Central, the, the meetings, the, the hangout of the day, but with Mikey Live, you get better quality feature, you get better branding, better customization of your, of your onboarding and, and guest registration experience. So now, Let's take, let's take one step at a time. First of all, virtual event. When we talk about virtual event, this is my home kitchen. Now we also do in-person event, we'll talk about those later, but a virtual event is literally a cooking demonstration, whether it's a, whether it's a virtual dining experience where you guys are cooking along and we provide meal kit, whether it's a simple demonstration, whether you lay back and sit back, relax with a glass of wine, whether it's an intimate, dinner party where, where I see everybody on camera in front of me on my screen and as you cook along, I judge the outcome of your own dishes. So we're here to have fun tonight. So I don't want to further delay the cooking. I know there is going to be a lot of, uh, a lot of question along the way. There is uh, quite few of you and uh, I look forward to answer. How do you ask questions? So this is the, the simpler way to do a virtual event. This is the one way. I don't see you this time, although we have the feature to highlight uh, some of your clients, your speaker, your colleagues, your guests on the screen with me. Not tonight. Tonight is about me broadcasting what we can do for you guys and with you, for you and your customer. And you, if you have any question, please type them into the, into the chat box. The chat box is on the bottom bar and then type your question there and I have a production assistant in the room with me. We have a full crew here. Then we'll read your question out loud and I'm gonna be able to address. So before we get to the fun part, which I'm gonna show you tonight, just like I would do to your guest and your friend and colleague, how to make a great chicken recipe. Here's what I would like to show you. First of all, the cameras. Let's talk about my camera setup. My camera setup includes state-of-the-art um, computers, 
that manage the entire production. From the light, we have daylight effect cameras, uh, Super HD 4K. We are one of the few studio that does virtual event to stream in 4K with fiber optics. What means? Fiber optics means that you can get the best quality that your computer can handle, right? We're gonna stream 4K, just like when you watch a movie. Now we have four different camera angles. This first angle right here is the angle where I really get up and close with you and your clients, right? So I can get uncomfortably close. Like this HD camera, first of all, they make my skin really glow. Look at this face. But aside from that, I can get really nice and personal. Hey there, do you have a question? Ask away, right? Then we have... We uh, do have a question, Fabio. Oh, first question it's in. Let's hear it. MK would like to know, how many recipes do you have to choose from? How many recipes you guys have to choose from? Well, your corporates, your company can choose from dozens of recipe that we already have available and we can theme for you. What I mean by that? We are hosting a New Year resolution, healthy dishes, get together with corporate for group that are into the healthy habits. We are doing Valentine's Day theme dinner, March Madness. We just did a bunch of football uh, virtual events. We're gonna do a big push for Mother's Day friendly classes. Uh, we're gonna do 4th of July outdoor barbecue we're gonna do you know last day of summer we're gonna do Halloween theme holiday theme so if you think about holiday any holiday recipe that makes sense cooked by me of course look I would love to host an Asian cooking classes but am I truthful to that kind of cuisine probably not so anything that makes sense for this guy right here that pleases your company we will do we have few dozen selected recipe already that you can pick from but the sky's the limit i own the company i cook the food i make the decision you want to do something i will make it happen we are the most flexible and nimble company in the market because again i don't have to go to a third party provider or a third party producer we do everything in-house, one-stop shop. You're going to talk one person from start to finish. And we can take care of all aspects of the event, including the registration of your own customer. So now, first camera, uh, I hope that answered the question, by the way. So first, the front and center. Then we have a little action, right? So we have a cutting board camera. Now, cutting board is good because whenever you have a little bit of chopping, we're going to do some flowering, some, some seasoning. The action camera gets you nice and tied to my motion of the action, the, my, my, my hand motion during the action. And then we have two static camera. Now, uh, usually I always have one or two pen going on at the same time, you know, and, and it's good for your viewing audience when you can see what's going on in both pens at the same time. And then, and then there is the money shot. Now, the money shot is the one that makes you drool. The money shot is the one that makes you hear the sizzling sound of the steak. And you kind of get, it's so close to the food that you almost burn yourself when you get too close to the TV. Look at this. This is what's happening inside of the pan. Think about we're caramelizing here, which we will in a second, and you get right into the action. So we are the only studio that without having you breaking the bank can provide four different angle camera to always get the best, best, um, best uh, angle for your viewing pleasure. Now we also have for a, for an up charge a fifth camera. A fifth camera is what I call the floater. Is an actual uh, producer with a handheld device on the shoulder that follows me around because some company like to have a more dynamic shot where some of the scene is not so static. We can always, of course, provide that. Now, here's the exciting part. Tonight, we're going to learn how to cook chicken marsala, which is one of my mom's favorite recipe, my grandma's favorite recipe. Actually, it's one of Italy's favorite recipe. And I get to talk about my meal kit. Now, Fabio Viviani Hospitality and my partners, we have shipped in 2019 over 100,000 meal kit. 100,000. We have served more meal in a box 
to, to probably two thirds of the Fortune 1000 company out there. We have clients all over the world and they come to us for two things, quality of the product and level of customization. What I mean by that? Now, when you shop in the meal kit genre, you have to consider a few things. Number one, sanitation. You know, and, and I, I give everybody an A for trying, but I give most people F for execution. What I mean by that? What I mean by that is very simple. You know, a lot of companies had to struggle to keep up with the demand during COVID as a pivot. We own and we operate one of the largest co-packing facility in United States for meal planning. So for us, the switch from meal planning to meal kit for a customer and guest of virtual event was a natural step forward. All right. So the, our ability is not only to customize the recipe to perfection. You can call me and say, hey, Fabio, look, for as much as I would hate that, you can call me and say, yo, Fabio, I'm doing a virtual event with Bobby Flay, which you beat, by the way, on beat Bobby Flay. I just did a little uh, plug for myself on that. But here's what we can do. We can work with you and any other chef that you have. Even if you don't use me as a host, my company can provide the support for you for the meal kit. How the meal kit come? First of all, I, I, I don't have the box right here because the box is a little too big, but what's inside the box? We pack all our box, which are graded for medical supply, which means that they keep the highest level of cold inside like a miniature refrigerator. All right, so we are super rated for, for we are able to ship in our box medical supplies, how, that, how good those boxes are. We have beautiful uh, fluffy liners inside that prevent a little bit of breakage. Sometimes, you know, UPS and FedEx, sometimes they like to play kind of, uh, they kind of like to play ball a little bit with your, with your boxes, not all the time. Thank God most of the time they're great, but sometimes some drivers get a little crazy. We try to supply, uh, the, 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 to prevent the uh, situation by having good padding in our boxes. And in this case, for example, all our dry goods come in a cloth bag, come in a cloth bag. We have a beautiful bubble wrap, which prevents uh, our ingredient from even further damaging. And, and let, me get, let me show you what we have here. Let's get on the cutting board. So our box comes just like this. By the way, I ship this to myself. And, and our box come and we have the padding and we have all the ingredients perfectly packed, perfectly packed inside. Now in this case, we have the ingredient for the Marsala. We have Marsala wine. We have heavy cream. I have a little bit of olive oil. I have salt. I have garlic, pepper. I have butter. Fancy. They made the little balls of butter. Look at that. Each bowl, it's about a half of a, a half of a tablespoon. And then we have flour. So one thing I want to show you guys, and I hope you can see these, is the level of customization and quality. All right? So first of all, every bottle, these are the self-screw cup. They're anti-shatter, anti-splash. You can squeeze these. <laughs> I'm trying to pop it. I can't. All right? So although less then 0.01% of the box we ship gets some damage because again, we don't control shipping. So if the box get literally kicked around at the end, it's still hard plastic. And some boxes, they're pretty heavy, but, but the quality of our feature is, is very good. And we have, I don't know if you can see it here. Let me see if I can show it to you from this other angle. Give me, give me the, hey, look at that, perfect. Dropped and didn't crack. All right, let's get on the camera angle here for, for the pan. You see the, look at this. I want you to see the level of details. This is my company logo here. Look at that. So each individual ingredient is not only labeled, but we can put your company logo on it. We can personalize every single ingredient with your company logos. And then of course, we ship the fresh things fresh. Now, everything Fabio, fresh, please, question. MK would like to know, can you offer vegetarian alternatives in both menus and during events? Absolutely, Michelle. That's a great question. M MK? MK, MK. So I think it was Michelle, but MK. Um, so yes, we, we, we can definitely customize 
Um, we can definitely customize meal. We can customize, we're actually one of the few meal kit company in United States that not only can customize the meal based on your recipe, but we can replace in details every pretty much food allergen out there from, from, from gluten to requirement for kosher meat and, and things in that and things in that nature, right? So yes, we are highly, highly, highly customizable. And we also don't require a lot of time ahead for, for ordering, right? If we can R&D your recipe, research and development your recipe, and you give us a couple of days, it only take us two, three days to turn around an event from a meal kit perspective. And of course, all the fresh stuff gets shipped fresh. In this case, we have beautiful mushroom. Fabio, what do the meal kits cost? Cost of the meal kit, that's another great question. Look, beautiful fresh parsley. I had this bag, this bag got to me on Friday because of course we don't ship Sunday and Monday. So look how beautiful things are packed and how perfectly green they stay. So meal kit cost, it's, it's, a hard, it's hard to answer. Generally, the meal kit for two to four people worth of food cost between 50 and 200 dollars fabio why such a window because i don't know what's inside of course uh, taco tuesday cost a lot less money than steak and lobster for fourth of july also if your recipe has a lot of ingredients it requires a lot more labor you know it's it's, it's asinine but the 50 percent of the meal kit cost it's not grocery it's the labor, the, the container, the shutterproof container. These, these hard container, which by the way, they're gorgeous. They're very high end, they're beautiful and, and they're super locked. These hard container, these, it's, they're, they're a dollar each. So they have, there is some cost to it, but we guarantee the quality of the experience, which for some of you guys, it is paramount. All right. Another question, please. Do you offer plastic free packaging for these kits? And is the packaging all recyclable? So plastic free packaging. Now, yes and no. I explain you why. So everything here is recyclable. Like, so all the plastic, all the burlap, everything could be recycled. Plastic free, it's a hard call because we have to supply a demand of Food and Drug Administration regulation. Our FDA rule, our Sanitation and Health Department rule don't give us a lot of option in the ability to send things that are not sealed, tied, and contained very well to prevent spillage or contamination. So if you have a special request on that, I'm sure we can figure out a way to accommodate that, but we also have to play by the rule because these things get shipped around left and right. Another question, please. Fabio, are you flexible with which platform you use? Have you hosted on Google video conferencing before? Yes. So here's, here's what I got, right? Um, I have hosted uh, events on literally any platform, Google, Hangouts, Microsoft Team, Zoom, Ring Central, uh, WebEx, you name it. My entire studio it is compatible with anything we can do anything we like our native platform because we know we can control the quality and deliver at time a better experience but we are very open and very happy to work with any of your your native or preferred platform absolutely another question then i'm going to start to get cooking for two minutes and then we get some more question please Fabio, what is the lead time on ordering one of these cooking events? So the lead time is based on my schedule, right? Now, mind you, the lead time for meal kit is probably a week to 10 days because we have to purchase. We don't, have, we don't warehouse everything, anything. We purchase everything fresh for you, right? So meal kit takes seven to 10 days to pull it off. And, and me, if you get in touch with my head of a corporate event, which is Emily Patrick, um, emily.patrick at fabioviviani.com. If you are on this event, you probably know who Emily is. Um, we can have, we can create an event in really 24 hours. So technically today is Monday. If you talk to Emily right now and to say, Hey Fabio, we have a last minute request. Are you free on tomorrow night or Wednesday? 
if I am free, I can pull it off. I can get the equipment, I can get the crew, we can do everything on a 24 hour notice. Some things require a little bit more time. Figure that a recipe, work with your own recipe and R&D. And so for that, seven days, 10 days is a good time, two weeks usually, but we can absolutely do that in a very quick turnaround. Another question, please. Two quick questions. Can you ship kits globally? Yes, I can ship kits globally. Kits, not kids. Kids, we don't ship kids. We ship kits. Uh, grocery kits, yes, I can. Now, mind you, that's a, that's a tricky question because do you really want to miss ship a food kid, a food kit from, from America to Australia? that it takes a day and a half to get there. Our kits are uh, rated for 72 hour chain of cold. Chain of cold means that if I send it today at five, my kit, my kit is good until Wednesday. So three days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, right? Let me it's, kits only, please, no kids. Yeah, no, kids, no, we can definitely, we can't send kids. Um, so so kid, kits, it's a tricky word, kids. Kids. Kids is a tricky word for me because I'm Italian. My English is still messed up. Sound like kids. And I love kids, but I want to ship them. So here's what we do, right? Uh, we ship everywhere. I ship to Australia. I shipped a bunch of things to Japan. We will R&D the recipe for you. If you ask me to ship a piece of salmon from LA to Australia or Japan, I'll probably tell you you shouldn't do it. And, you, and we have to waive the warranties on it, meaning if it gets held in the custom, it, it's, it's unfortunate we can't control that. But the short answer is yes, we ship anything everywhere. No kids though. All right, let me do one thing and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to answer a quick question, all right? There is a bunch of questions I'm going to answer. So first things we do, look in the pan. I want to show you some cooking, guy. What are we doing here? All right, I got some olive oil in the pan and I'm going to add a little bit of butter, all right? I got a little bit of butter in the pan, butter and olive oil, all right? So what I'm doing here, I'm going to melt a little bit of butter and olive oil, and on the cutting board right now, I'm going to smash a little bit of garlic. I'm going to get a nice knife, which by the way, our company can buy custom-made knife for you, brand them with your things and ship them to your guest. So I'm going to smash the garlic. One, two, three, four, five. They're small cloves. So yeah, they are small cloves. So I'm going to smash a bunch of them. Then I'm going to add these to the oil and the garlic and the, and the butter. So now I have garlic oil and butter and I'm going to let these caramelize for one minute or two, three minutes actually, two, three minutes on low fire. Nice caramelization. Let me get another question in the meantime, please. Fabio, does your platform require an account and does every attendee need to create an account or is it a simple link to connect? So we can do both. Um, so our platform, my key life platform, the, the great part about my key life is that is that it gives you a customization level that is not possible with any other platform out there. We can put your branding, we can put your message, we can create a registration page. And for that, your company does need to have an account. When people register, they will have to register to the platform and put their name, last name, email address, and few other data that you might wanna collect. And then you own that data, right? So we give you the stats on the viewers, the length, how long a view, and all the stats that you need. And we give you all the data, all the collect data, it's yours, for your to keep, right? We don't, we don't use it, we don't share it, we don't, it's just for you. But in, within in the key, the My Key Live realm, we have an ability to send a simple link viewers, so everybody can just click the link and view, and for that we're gonna use the API provided by Zoom, on our platform. So you're gonna get all the benefit of key, the level of customization, the service, the, the white gloves treatment, the help with the setup and all that. But then you're gonna view that 
into the Zoom API. So just one link fits all, which usually company that have an incredible amount of people or they don't want to deal with some registration, they do that. Another question, please. Fabio, why do you use olive oil and butter at the same time? <laughs> That's a great question. Olive oil and butter at the same time. Look at me. I want to show you. Get, get inside here. Olive oil and butter at the same time prevent the butter from prevent the butter and the garlic from burning because, because the olive oil add extra fat to the butter and the butter add extra moisture to the olive oil. So now that I have these and the, and the garlic is starting to get a little bit brown, see there? What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get on the cutting board and I'm gonna slice some mushroom, all right? I wanna slice some mushroom and I'm gonna add the mushroom to the garlic, olive oil and butter mixture. Now when I slice mushroom, I'm not paying too much attention. Yes, okay, let me take the back. I pay attention to my fingers, all right? I don't want to I definitely don't want to just chop off my finger, which is something like this is very easy. I'm gonna go, I can go really fast. If you want like a cooking show, look at the cutting board. Look how fast I can do this. And by the way, they're paper thin. Like I'm like a ninja, Le legit. I'm like the Italian ninja. But for this dish, you don't need that. For this dish, all you need to do, it's a quick slice, a lot slower, a lot chillier. Is is not, you don't need to have like a samurai degrees in order to chop and slice mushroom, all right? And the reason being is because once in there, they're gonna caramelize, they're gonna caramelize with the garlic, and they're gonna caramelize with the with the with the oil and the butter then i'm going to add a little bit of pepper to it i'm going to add a little bit of salt to it and i'm going to let it caramelize there question please another question let's go so hey actually wait hold on a question what i'm going to do right now i'm going to set this up i'm going to caramelize the mushroom in the oil with butter and olive oil, right? If we had guests right now, we have people cooking along, I will keep these a lot more about them. Hey, you, Jane, Mark, uh, Julio, Giovanni, Mario, Fabio, how are you guys doing? Are you keeping up? I pinpoint people on the screen. I'm gonna make fun with them. Great kitchen, Mary. Fantastic apron, uh, John. So now, as the mushrooms are going into the pan, I'm gonna add a little bit more olive oil and butter in the other pan. Question, please. Fabio, going back to the global question, yes. do you have any partners in Europe that you'd be able to send kits locally versus shipping from the US? So, if you're asking if I have international friends, depend where, in Italy, yes. In Japan, Russia, England, Spain, and Germany, I probably don't have anybody there that I could suggest you on how to get those items. But here's the good news. What we have done in the past, we have pinpoint services that just like Instacart in America, in other country, can deliver those grocery items that we don't like to ship for obvious reasons. I hope that answered. Another question, please. Fabio, can you review additional options for branding? Can you brand a cutting board, an apron, yes. or can you perhaps sign a cookbook? Yes. So the question is yes. And this is something that I want Emily to, when she's going to reach out to you tomorrow, to go in, in details. Anything that you want to customize, we can do it. Anything. We did an event with an Italian company that gifted a Vespa like a motor, a, a, a motorino, like a little Vespa to all the attendees and we did the wrap for them. So we can customize cutting board, put your stamp, any, you think of an object, we can probably customize it. Um, so yes, the short answer is yes, we can do all that. Apron, I can have your nice logo here. I mean, technically you can patch me like a NASCAR driver, just don't let me wear anything silly. I'm not gonna wear a duck hat, 
or, or, or a mouse ears or, or, a, or a pig nose. That don't do these things. I mean, if it makes you happy, I can wear it for a minute. But in generally, I can be your NASCAR driver. You can get patch everywhere if you want to. We're trying to make your corporate happy. Question, please. Fabio, if you don't drink alcohol, can you use chicken broth instead of Marsala wine? Absolutely. So now, mind you, it's a chicken Marsala recipe. So if you take the Marsala, it's a chicken recipe, which means that without the Marsala, it's not going to taste like anything but delicious chicken and mushroom, right? So yes, you can use broth instead of Marsala. Absolutely. But I'm about to tell you something that at first is going to freak you out. But a second is going to make your chicken marsala taste like marsala without marsala. Are you ready for this? It's going to sound disgusting, but it works. I promise you. You're going to replace the marsala with twice the amount of Coca-Cola. <laughs> don't, don't ask me how I figured it out. But I promise you, if you put Coca-Cola, when we deglaze with marsala, instead you put Coca-Cola, your chicken is going to taste very close to chicken marsala. Eh, don't ask me. Marsala is like alcoholic Kool-Aid at the end. All right? So here's what I want to do now. I'm going to turn on the fire. I want to do one thing before I take the next question. I'm going to turn on. Let's look at the pan here. I'm going to turn on the gas under this pan, which I add about a tablespoon and a half of butter and some olive oil. I'm reducing my mushroom here, okay? So I want to reduce my mushroom. What I'm going to do right now, I'm going to do one simple thing. I'm going to season my chicken with salt and pepper. Che season my chicken with salt and pepper. Flour it right here. And by the way, I'm going to get the flour, more flour from my meal kit. Look at that. Beautiful, there. And then I'm going to flour the chicken on both sides. One, two, three. All right? Like that. Now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to season the other side of the chicken. Right here. Now I'm going to flip this. And now I'm going to add these to the pan right here. One, two. Also, before I take the next question, I want to make a pointer. The recipe we cook, I, I own and operate over three dozens of restaurants and hotel in the United States. So we have also in-person event ability aside that you could literally come to my house i have me and my wife own a beautiful estate in barrington hills illinois chicago we do packages we do a uh, staycation in chicago with hotel spa dinner at my house super high-end stuff as well as i own uh, and drink one of the largest private collection of bourbon and cigars in the united states I'm a little bragging about it, but true story. And I share that with a lot of my, uh, my corporate friend and, and customer. So aside from being able to do private estate dinner in my own house with me cooking in front of you and, and taste the most incredible food in the world, um, we, also do, um, we also do event in person, both live, me flying anywhere, and full-on weekend live organ organizing in Chicago with some of my restaurants. But the point was that I, oh, I own a lot of very high-end restaurants, but I also like to cook food that is very approachable. Because at the end of the day, if there is a big difference. If you invite your prospect, your guest, your colleague, your celebratory meeting with your company because you had a great 2020 and you want to gift everybody a good night to relax, and they can't cook the food, because I'm just trying to prove a point and show off with you, which unfortunately is what most chefs do out there, right? They cook something that is so complicated that people can't do it. I want to boost your morale, but I also want to boost your confidence by making you able to do the food I'm doing. 
So we try to use beautiful taste ingredient, yet friendly, easy to execute. Question, please. Fabio, this is not a question for you, but for the production crew. Is this pre-recorded with pre-selected questions or live? I ask because it looks live and we are considering live versus pre-recorded. If, is, if it is pre-recorded, it's seamless. Awesome job either way. No, so this is not pre-recorded. This is live and I'll prove it to you. Monday, April 12th. Look at this. Give me the phone on here on the pen. Look at that. Monday, April 12th, uh, 5.05. And by the way, I don't know if you know Gary Vaynerchuk, but he just texted me. Sorry, Gary, I can't do it right now. So this is a live event, and these are not pre-recorded. These are some of you guys asking me questions. And of course, I have an agenda. I want to explain you a few things, right? But, but we do live event, but also we can pre-record with preset question, and that's what I call record to live. People will watch it live, but it's pre-recorded. This is not pre-recorded. Pre this is live, all right? Another question, please. Fabio, most of your fame has come from Top Chef. Please excuse if there's any sensitivity with this question, but would discussions about Top Chef experiences be okay during a virtual demo? Yes, of course. You if can it, ask me. Go ahead, finish. If I book you, are you interested in letting the attendees have questions relating to Top Chef? Yes. Sorry if I interrupt the question. That was a very long question I thought was over. All right. So, yes, you can Honestly, guys, you got me for 60, 90 minutes, 30 minutes. Shoot. It's game. Everything is game. I have people ask about personal stuff. And look, if I'm uncomfortable in answering something, I will just say I play the fifth. But top chef question all day. Do you want to know if Padmash is knowledgeable and pretty? Do you want to know if Tom Colicchio is pretty and knowledgeable? Do you want to know some hint, some secret, some behind the scenes stuff? Guys, we got an hour together. Make it worthwhile. Absolutely. Now, stop question for two minutes. We're cooking. Give me two minutes now. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to do two things. Number one, I want you to flip your chicken if you're cooking along. And I want to make sure that the chicken is nice and caramelized. Look at that. Number two, look at the mushroom. Here's what we do. Let's get on the mainframe here. When you add marsala to mushroom with the oil and the butter, there is going to be fire. So keep your hair out of the way, keep your kids in a different room, and take your pitcher away from the top of your stove, because we are about to unleash hell. Told you. Listen. It's already gone. It's a lot of fire, it's very hot, but it's already gone. It's like a summer story. Summer love. You meet in June, you're all hot, you love each other, it's delicious, and then July comes, who's you? You guys go both to your respective cities and you never speak about it again. That's Marsala for you. So let me do one thing and then I'll take another question, all right? So here's what I'm gonna do, let's look from the top. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to add cream to the sauce right after I flame the marsala. All right? There. I'm going to do this right here. I'm going to lower it. Then I'm going to get the chicken. And I'm going to put the chicken with the sauce right here. In here. Right there. All right? So now what I got to do here is to let this chicken cook in the cream with the marsala for probably less than 10 minutes, all right? So now, as these cooks, as these cooks, look how beautiful that is, you can ask me, as many questions as you like. We have about five, ten minutes now before we do the next step. Please. Fabio, can you incorporate cocktails? Yes, absolutely. Actually, it's got bourbon, bourbon and sauces. It's one of my most famous cooking class where I teach you how to make one dish in 20, 30 minutes. And then we do a bourbon tasting. 
or we do some couple of cocktail and I teach you how to do a little mixologies. Wine pairing, I have done breakfast and brunch classes. I have done a series of events at two in the morning for a late supper club uh, with client in London, Japan, and at all different time. We do pizza making classes, fresh pasta making classes. Guys, if you can eat it, or can, you can drink it, I can do it. You gotta understand, if you can think of it, we can do it. I have indoor kitchen, I have outdoor kitchens. We have, uh, look guys, if you wanna do a quick Zoom call, me show up, 30 minutes, make a sandwich and go, I can do that. If you wanna produce the avatar or of cooking event, I'm your Steven Spielberg. Do you have any other question, please? Is this being recorded, Fabio? I would need it for my marketing team to get in on this, like the planning, etc. Yeah. <clears throat> yes, this is recorded, and I will make this recording available for all of you. Also, Emily is your best chance to get all the information. Now, so you guys know, I want to give a shout out to Emily. She gave me a list of bullet points to, to touch. I do not read script. I don't do well with that. Now, if you guys give me some mention for your company, your branding, I will nail those. I just don't pay attention too much to other stuff. But yes, absolutely. They record it. You can watch it with your team and everybody else. Another question, please. Fabio, what type of mushrooms are you using? And can you use white button mushrooms? Yes. So these are actually brown button mushroom. These are cremini mushroom. Uh, now, chicken marsala, it's great because you can use any mushroom you like. You know, if you want to make... A, an affordable chicken marsala, you use button mushroom, cremini mushroom, you can use portobello mushroom. If you want to make something like fancy, high-end, like super elevated, that something I would charge you $40 in a restaurant for a plate of chicken, use porcini mushroom, use morel, use uh, chanterelle, use blue oyster. You know, when we do the estate dinner in my own house, I grow mushroom for you a week or two prior of you showing up. I literally, I have a, a, a potted container with mycelius and, and I grow whatever mushroom you like to grow. And when you come here, <laughs> we pick the mushroom together. I have that level of experience. There is some client of mine, they land their helicopter in my front yard. I said, guys, before I say that again, you dream it, we can make it happen. Next question, please. Will Fabio announce a sales award winner or incorporate the winner somehow? I can do mostly whatever you like. You know, I had corporation where I was the auctioneer and I had raffled off a bunch of stuff. I have, they gave me a list of 50 name and I gave the award during the cooking class. We had a surprise, bash, a surprise a wedding ceremony a couple thought that they, I was doing this virtual cooking class for them because their wedding got canceled and their, her father invited another 50 people and we all did this beautiful stuff with Zoom. We shipped everybody food, confetti. And we did a virtual concert with some of our music partner. We had uh, uh, Bose headset shipped to everybody, sound bar. I did the cooking. This other person was playing the cello. We, we, have, we have done some crazy, crazy virtual events. And, and we can literally structure anything in any way you want it. The, the differentiator is what budget you have, the timing of it, and, and, and whatever additional things we can do. I mean, I, we'll do anything to make you guys happy, for real. Any other question, please. Can you use a healthier flour or does that compromise the taste? For example, buckwheat or almond flour? You definitely stay away from almond. Almond is not flour. Almond is crushed almond. It's a nut, right? It's not flour. Buckwheat, yes, it's flour. Yes, you can use it. Now, from a psychological perspective, I would tell you do whatever you like because clearly if you're more comfortable with the less refined flour, that's the way you should go about it, right? One of my motto is you do you. Makes you happy? <laughs> do it. I'm your biggest fan, right? Almond, forget about it. Almond, they will make it taste like almond. It's not good. It's not flour to begin with. 
But back with yes. Now, the things I have for you, the, the reality breakdown is that there is not enough amount of flour here to make an impact on your health if you eat chicken marsala once or twice a year or even once a month and you're using a quart of an ounce of buckwheat flour versus a quart of an ounce of regular flour. Now, as an overall feeling, healthy perspective and modus operandi, go with the buckwheat if it makes you happier, right? But from a sub perspective, it's like people that eat sandwiches once a month and they choose whole wheat bread. There is not a relevant amount of difference that, that will make an impact on your health unless you eat whole wheat every day, like, see what I mean? But yes, buckwheat flour is great, whole wheat flour, whatever. Question, please. Fabio, I try to use very little salt. What do you recommend as a salt replacement? Now, in this recipe, in, all right, so let me say something. First of all, if you try to use a little salt, it's because, my guessing, I'm going on a limb here, that salt is not great for you. Try to replace traditional table salt with pink Himalayan salt. Difference, there is no iodine and it's a mineral salt, trace mineral salt, it's a rock. And your body, um, against what Italian believes, doesn't work with cafe, coffee and caffeine. It works with minerals. Minerals send a, a electric impulse and connection to your nerve system and it keeps you awake and it keeps you functioning and it keeps you healthy. So mineral salt is the way to go. Pink salt. If you don't like salt in general, then try some spices, right? Uh, some fennel seeds, some garlic, uh, garlic powder, something to have some flavor. Because what salt does, enhance the flavor of anything around. It's a flavor enhancer. Salt itself, it tastes like crap. If you take a tablespoon of salt, it tastes like crap. But if you put it in food, it augments the perception of the food itself. That's why it's good. Question, please. Fabio, when you were cooking the chicken, was there anything else in the pan with it? Yes, there was olive oil and butter. Olive oil and butter, I put a little flour on the chicken, season it lightly with salt, pepper, and that's it. Another question, please. In reference to the Marcella, I'd be afraid to light my house on fire. No, you know, you know, the good news is that unless you're living in an old, 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 old house, you probably have a hood. The hood is metal. Metal doesn't catch on fire. And, and in case, my case, I'm really good friend with the chief of the, the police, the fire station. So when my fire alarm goes off, they show up. We have a glass of wine and we high five and, and they go. You know, now you could avoid flame by turning off the fire before you pour the marsala. But you're still gonna get a great recipe, but you're gonna get a terrible show. So you're gonna get an A for taste, F for show. I gotta get an F for show. Come on, if the fire wasn't there, I gotta get an A for show, not an F. If the fire wasn't there, this wouldn't be as good as it was, was it? See? Would the fire happen on an electric stovetop? No. Fire only happen in presence of fire, which means that the little pieces of fat and things, the little sizzling, will <laughs> cut on fire because there is a live flame. Electric will not do that. More question, please. Then I'm going to play to these. Fabio, do you allow recording of the demos? Yes and no. What I mean by that, we set a fee to show up, do the work, performance, and everything else. If you are asking me to your ability to record the demo so we make sure that within in a week or two, everybody that was supposed to participate can rewatch it, yes. If you just want to keep it for yourself and use it in perpetuity, the answer is no, unless we come up with a, a plan that allows us to monetize the future uses as well. Because... You know, if we were to do a recording for you and now you use it on 30 different events, it would also not be fair to us. So yes and no, mostly yes, but sometimes there is cases where we don't allow it. Please. Fabio, after chicken marsala, what is your favorite dish to make for a crowd during an event? Meatball, fresh pasta, pizza, chicken piccata. We have a wonderful event tonight, actually. We have two events back to back called Steak Two Ways. There's a bunch of guys, a bunch of dudes. It's like a dude event tonight. We teach people how to make ribeye with gorgonzola fondue 
as well as red wine reduction. And we drink bourbon with it. So really, what I like to eat is not always what I like to cook. You know, we will make you, a, you will make you look like a rock star, guys, no matter what, uh, what event you want to do. And, and don't worry, I have cooked plenty of food in my life that I don't really enjoy it, but you will never know on camera because I'm going to smile and be happy just like if it was my absolute favorite food. Question, please. Fabio, how long can you store Marsala wine when opened? Uh, forever. Something with 18 degrees alcohol, 18, 20 degrees alcohol and that much sugar, you'll never go to bed. Your children, the children of your children will be able to drink it. You don't, you don't throw away Marsala. It's like a dessert wine. Right? So you don't do that. Let me plate this chicken and then I'll take a couple of more questions. So what we do here, let's get on the plate. Look at the beauty. There, one, two. And look how thick the sauce got here. Look. See? So now I'm going to show you also a trick that when I do these in restaurants, I can automatically charge you $20 more. Are you ready? It's called the swirl. Look at that. When you do that in a restaurant, you're automatically allowed to charge the patrons 20 bucks more for the same dish. Does it add anything to the flavor? Absolutely not. But it looks pretty. Look at that. Bam. Look at this beauty. Chicken Marsala. Now, this is only one of the many dishes that you, your guests, your family, friends, prospect, co-worker, and anyone that you're trying to impress can learn and will learn how to cook. That's a certainty with me during Fabio's Viviani live event. So back to the question, guys, please. I know there is a few more. Fabio, do you also do dessert demos? Yes. Now, I'm not a baker, right? I'm not Betty Crocker. I'm not a baker. Um, I, I would rather go for a, ma run a marathon than bake cookies. But I have done plenty of dessert event. Tiramisu, bomboloni, fritters, cannoli, cookies. You name it, I have done it. We go back to the same things. Not necessarily my food. Um, mostly because I hate, hate to measure with a passion. But again, you'll never know. So yes is the answer. I have done plenty of dessert event, but between me and you, and they will never leave these four walls, I don't like baking. But I'll do it. I'll do it. Next question. Fabio, what's a good side to go with this dish? Broccoli, saute spinach, spaghetti, plain boil spaghetti or a good piece of crusty bread. Picture yourself with a good piece of crusty bread doing the dippies. The dippies. Is that a dip? What do you do? I do it with my kid. I do the dippies when you dip things. The dip is in the, in the marsala sauce with a little crusty baguette. <sighs> Absolutely delicious. Next question, please. Fabio, a couple people have thinner sauces. They said, how can you thicken the sauce up if it's too thin? And they, they said that, how much Marcella did you put in? Because they followed the recipe and they, yeah. they have a pan full of liquid. <laughs> so now if you followed the recipe, you probably read that, that, that it's a lot of chicken for a lot of people. It's for four people. I'm, I'm just cooking one dish to show you the outcome, right? Worry, don't worry about it though. So all you have to do is to kick up a fire underneath a notch and reduce and reduce and reduce until it looks like 90% less of what you have. And then you put a little, about a half cup of cream in it. So if you follow the recipe, just keep cooking because you've done a lot of sauce and a lot of chicken. I've only made one dish. You following the recipe, you made four times more. So it's going to take about four times longer to reduce it. Next question, please. Fabio, um, let's see. I've seen different types of Marsala, dry, sweet, regular. Is there a recommendation to which one to use? Depend on your flavor profile. Sweet Marsala is better if you like a sweeter flavor. Dry Marsala is better if you like a little bit more robust pungent sauce. Regular Marsala is just because America is the land of opportunity and the land of marketing. So they just mix the two and they sell you as a regular. <laughs> I think it's asinine. But please, next question. 
Can we send branded aprons to wear for the event? Absolutely. Like I said, I can wear an apron. I can wear my apron or your apron. I can wear no apron. I did an event for a company uh, that was sponsoring tattoo artists and they wanted me with a shirt because I have tattoos everywhere and I wear it, the V-neck with short sleeve. We can wear a hat. You know, we can customize the event any way you like it from very formal with pairing of food and wine and a sommelier and a few other things to me just having a fun and kicking back a beer uh, with the guys you know anything is doable and anything is customizable we have we can get apron for you or you can get it for us and we wear it next question please fabio i did not use marsala wine i used red wine is that okay no you're not going to be able to have chicken marsala because you did use red wine, but you're going to have a great chicken with red wine and mushroom. <laughs> it's just not going to taste like marsala. Next question, please. The recipe called for a bunch of parsley. Do we add it in the pot or only once plated? Great question, actually. I have a bunch of parsley. It's a bunch. It's literally a bunch. I didn't add much. I did use it mostly for garnish. But what you could do, if you like parsley that much, you can do what the recipe called, chop it up, put it in the sauce, and add the parsley as an ingredient for the sauce. I'm not, I like parsley, I'm not like, I don't like so much parsley that I feel like I wanna throw a handful in it. That's, but again, it's not gonna change the flavor of it, it's just gonna enhance the, the look of it. Couple of more questions, we have a few more minutes to go, please. Fabio, I used a good Marsala wine, but I saw that at the grocery store, they sell Marsala-style wine. Thoughts on this product and the outcome of the recipe? Once you boil it with mushroom, butter, salt, cream, chicken, very little difference. Go for the cheaper one. Hey, hate to tell you, but go for the cheap one and drink the good stuff. Very, once you boil it and you flame it, it's not going to change much. Please, one other question. Fabio, do you go a little bit slower on live cooking classes? <clears throat> yeah, yes. So yes and no. What I mean by that? Yes, of course. I don't have to explain how an entire company works. I just focus on the food. So now we had, you know, 20 minutes to make a dish. Usually I have 30, 45 an hour, right? So I go a lot slower. Now, with that said, no matter how slow I go, you still got to have in our time and I have to have a finished dish. So no matter who you are, no matter what company you work for, if you invite 50 people, 20 people will not have any problem in following up. 20 people will follow up, but they're gonna feel a little rushed. And 10 people, three hours later that you digested your food, they're still gonna be there trying to figure it out how to turn the stove on. There's nothing I can do about those. I have an hour to cook. I got to keep it within an hour. Now, during the demonstration, you can ask me a hundred times, how do I fix this? How do I fix that? I have to keep going because by the end of it, I got to give you a final plate. Make sense? One more question, please. Fabio, what's the best restaurant you've been to in the U.S.? The best restaurant I have been to the U.S. Shoot. Of course, we have to close with it. I don't know, man. I play the fifth. Tell you why I play the fifth. Because I have a lot of favorite restaurants. I want to do one thing. I want to give you my cell phone number. No joke. It's my cell phone number. Um, so now do me a favor. Write down, write down my cell phone number. Because what's going to happen right now is that we, I'm going to give you my number away. And for any question that you have that I have not answered you, you going to text me and we can connect, or you can email Emily and we can connect. My phone number is 805-991-5126. 805-991-5126. And by the way, if we do a cooking class together, I'm going to provide my number to your folks anyway. So now we became family. They can text me, we can keep each other updated on things, and they can ask questions about the food after the class is over. So with that said, let me wrap this up in a second. I know there is few other questions, but we have an hour together. So what I wanna do is that if there is few more questions, ask Emily or text me. Um, we also have, by the way, I forgot to mention, several hotels. 
um, Fort Lauderdale, Memphis, um, New York, Ohio. We will have Boston, downtown Manhattan soon. So we can do these virtually, in person. Everything is doable, right? Um, after 2020, I, our industry was a bit crazy, right? As you probably know, hospitality took a hit for the worst. And literally, with COVID, we've seen our ability to provide for our family, work, taken away from us. So virtual event, folks like you, um, that allow us to do what we do best, although virtually, put a lot of people to work. Puts a lot of people to work. Takes a village to send meal kit, prepare a beautiful event like this. So people that work can provide for their family. And because of you and you working with us on this event, you guys put a lot of our folks to work. And for that, I will forever be grateful. This event is, is recorded, meaning I'm recording it as we go, so I'll make it available to Emily. I hope to work with you very soon. I promise you, you work with us, you'll never want to work with anybody else ever again. Thank you guys for having me. God bless you. Stay safe, stay free, and I can't wait to see you all soon in person. Enjoy the rest of your night, guys. Thank you very much.